Quezon City Mayor Joy Belmonte is convinced the rising floodwaters in a section of the city indicates a need for upgrade of old, narrow drainage pipes. Her Manila counterpart, Honey Lacuna, has an informal settler problem of relocating and sheltering at at least 20,000 of them. Meanwhile, senators of the Republic handed out bread, hot soup, and road dinghies and rubber boats to hand out relief and food items, as our Daniel Manalastas reports. Thick mud, pieces of trash, and flood debris everywhere in the aftermath of the super typhoon Karina's onslaught in Araneta Avenue in Quezon City. That's why authorities wasted no time to get the cleanup drive going. While in some evacuation centers like in Barangay Tatalon in Quezon City, not only residents but also dogs and pets were also evacuated. According to the local government, the existing drainage system compromised of narrow pipes is a huge problem. One thing we noticed is yung mga existing uh, drainage systems kasi natin ngayon, maliliit lang kasi siya yung pipes, no? Cons given the volume of water. So kahit na nilinis na natin ito, kasi in the time of Condoy, puro basura yan. But ang problema ngayon is our pipes are narrow and small and they cannot um, absorb the capacity of the, uh, the volume of rainwater that is coming. So we really have to keep changing our drainage, enlarge the, the pipes. Meanwhile, in Manila, Mayor Hani Lacuna, together with Senator Aimee Marcos, handed out hot meals and Nutribond breads to residents. Aside from Senator Marcos, senators also extended their hand for help. Senator Joel Villanueva went to Bulacan to personally help the financial and relief distribution. Senator Jingoy Estrada even rode a boat just to extend help to San Juan residents. Senator Bongo went to Philippine General Hospital to provide food packs for the patients and medical frontliners. Daniel Manalastas from the National TV for a new and better Philippines.